Alright guys, welcome back to Andy Plays DGV and as promised, we're not going to be playing the Pro Tour today. Uh, we will be jumping into a multiplayer round. I do plan on recording the Year of the Dragon event or Dragon Stroll event, but I'm, I'm getting some practice on Lost Island at the moment and Ikigai Springs and Ikigai Enso in preparation for that. Uh, Especially Lost Island, a couple of holes are giving me quite a bit of trouble that never used to. So um, yeah, I'm doing get getting my my practice in there. But enough waffling. Let's jump into a multiplayer round. Let's hopefully hopefully we'll be able to find a uh, a game pretty quickly. Had to wait quite a while earlier. Hope everybody's having a nice day. It's been a it's Sunday here where I am, and uh, had a really nice powder day snowboarding today. So all good. Alrighty, so we've got almost a full card, um, and we're starting off in the crow's nest with one heck of a wind. So I think I'm gonna slide down here through. Um, crap, I can't remember what I used to throw. Uh, I think it was a skip. I think it was Rudolph, eh? We'll just aim down here. And then, what's the hyzer? Oh my goodness, where's that go? Oh, this hole's not showed up for a while on or multiplayer or, or daily challenges or anything like that. So, i kind of completely forgotten what to do. But, we figured it out somehow. And we came away with a birdie. Alright. Quite a lot of par threes on, on this layout. Oh, one of my favorite holes. I love this hole. Take my ballista look, glide, light glide. Aim it just at the corner of the entrance here. Put half a disc's worth of hyzer. And it should come round. Oh, not quite. It's always nice to give that one a run. Very rarely does it come off. But it's always exciting nevertheless. And I can't see my disc. Magical. But we'll do a little around the world action. So that we can get our birdie. Donning Dunk Nuts, what a username. Uh, unfortunately, not part of that hole, or well, unfortunately for them. Okay, big crosswind here. I'm still going to stick with my Explorer play. Probably going to stick more hyzer than I normally would on it. And here we are next to the basket for a fair easy tap in. Birdie. All right. Where to next? I didn't really see the, the, the course layout before the game started. Um, Alright, Blueberry Thicket, I believe, or is this Sunshine Glade? I don't know, I get the two mixed up. But this is an ace run. So I take my Explorer, give it just short of a full disc's worth of hyzer, but it's, that's going to have turned too much, unfortunately. It's another, another fun one to run. doesn't come off that often, but when it does... Always feels nice. So everybody getting birdies there. Another par three coming up. Ah, we have the ace hole. Alrighty. So I take my putter. Put the middle chevron normally on the basket. I'm just going to point just slightly off to the, the left to counter the wind. And then a full pullback. This is a little bit right, unfortunately. Ah, oh, someone got the ace. Nice. David got the ace. Well done. We'll take our birdie there. Always a fun hole to run, that one. And last one. This one that they've changed the collision trees on. Ah, oh, man. I've been having all sorts of problems on this hole. <laughs> So I think I, I threw the glide turn Zeus last time I played this hole. I want to aim up a bit more. Just aim up like that. Straight pull back. Missed the tree. Yes, we missed the tree. Go over the hill. There we go. And it should filter down. Do we have a look at the basket for eagle? We do. Oh, do we? Kind of. Okay, so let's put it a little bit lower. Add a bit more juice. Oh, no, that was wasn't 
ever troubling the basket. But our opponents both managed to par this hole. We managed to birdie it, so we've picked up a stroke. And now we're tied for the lead. Uh, it would have been nice to have eagled that hole there. Okay, I believe this is windswept field. Is this windswept field? No, it's Oakwood, I believe. Ah, I don't remember. I don't remember, but I think I'm going to throw the paradigm here. And then half a disc of Pfizer. This seems to be what the paradigm likes to give it its stability is just half a disc of hyzer if you do any if i do anything else other than that it does its own thing whatever it friggin wants to do um but if i give it half a disc of hyzer it tends to behave itself so we've got a headwind here something like that come on dip ah oh, you little ah oh, that's a shame that is a shame Missed putt there, so still in second place. Battling it out with David. Let's see if we can pick up a stroke here. What's the wind doing? All right, let's go for the eagle play. Uh, put my middle chevron kind of on the tree there. I'm actually just going to put it slightly to the left a little bit. And then full discs worth of hyzer, although that didn't hyzer at all. And then that's going to not reach the green now why did that not turn at all why did that not go why did that not anheuser at all there's no wind right so that was very strange my trusty ballista is now playing games on me you save the uh the birdie but that's disappointing that looks like we're gonna end up in second place here but we've had a, an all birdie game so far this is another oh, wi-fi issues that's rare that doesn't seem to happen very often another paradigm hole once again half a disc of of Pfizer. and the paradigm <laughs> yeah uh, not the best time to get a dead skip not gonna lie um cool this is this is gonna be a, a good one to get now Something like that. Drop. Oh, just missed off to the side. Both our opponents get the eagle. And and we've... Well, we were consistent, at least. All birdies. Um, but we came in second place. Well done to David. Rightly deserved winner. Nice ace. And, uh, and that will be our multiplayer round for today. Alrighty, so uh, still got a way to go before I get my next level up, but I'm going to keep, keep plodding away. Um, I think I might upload a daily challenge next, so look out for that. Thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.